Thanks, Mark. In just a few hours, cyclists will gather and ride in silence. It's to remember New Mexicans who've been killed or injured while riding their bikes. News 13's Diana Salceda spoke to a couple who was involved in a terrible accident and lived to tell their story. Yeah, it's really, it's a road. Cycling is a way of life for John and Liz Mazzola. The miles they put on the road are measured in hundreds. But now each mile is filled with gratefulness, but also pain. John and Liz were hit by a truck in 2009. They were riding in Ruidoso. This happened while the Mazzolas were riding in the Ruidoso Century Race. Just a short time into the ride, the driver of a truck didn't signal and turned right into them at an intersection. I broke all the ribs down the left side, punctured his lung so he couldn't breathe. He was gasping. John's upper arm was broken in three pieces. He had a dislocated left shoulder, a broken scapula, a broken wrist, and after he was released from the hospital, two brain hematomas developed. Liz's jaw was broken, and that still has to be reset. I have seen it when the handlebars were hanging by the cables and the front fork is totally blown out. The wheel is tacoed and the spokes are sticking out all over the place. The Mazzolas keep uh, the frame of the old bike as a reminder. Many of the parts from that bike are now on the new tandem. Finally in January, they got back in the saddle, but it was not easy. It was a very cautious ride, to say the least. We got scared by other cyclists passing us. The Mazzolas always ride cautiously with reflective clothes, strobe lights on their bike, front and back, rear view mirrors, and helmets. They treasure that they survived a crash, but often think of those who have lost their lives. They encourage drivers and cyclists to take each other's lives in their hands each time they hit the road. Diana Sauceta, KRQE News 13. The ride is tonight. It starts at 7. Cyclists will meet at the Rio Grande Alameda open space parking area. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a donation of $1.50. You need to have a helmet and lights. For more details, go to krqe.com.